Hello everybody, Josh Pleiser here. If you're watching this tag, it means the video that you are about to watch is cut from a larger play on Twitch. Of course, the Twitch channel is GW Bicer. Be sure to check out the Twitch stream most nights at 10 Eastern if you want to watch these plays uncut and in their entirety. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. Already in progress from the last part. All right. Episode six, Laharl's Challenge. I also found that Phantom Brave is also available on the PC, so I want to see if I can get a copy of that and maybe do another Let's Break on that one. Because they completely redid the progression and a lot of the mechanics for Phantom Brave compared to Disgaea. How are we doing here? I don't think we got any good items. Again, you're going to get so many items in this game, it's very hard to keep track. But I think I can make use of the Belt of Will. Hmm. I wonder if I should put Cross Trainers on. are good for them. They already have, have high movement. Huh. Wait, it's not right. I gotta have some of the names that. Okay. Is that the one that I wanted to give her? Yes. Probably wanna level that item up at some point. She's getting quite up there. She also has manager specialist on her weapon, which is also why she's getting a lot of extra mana. So we need... Again, it costs 100 to even begin transmigration, so we're about 130 away from being able to upgrade her. Meanwhile, she needs... She's going to, I think, need about 330 for her, so she's still quite a distance away. She'll probably need more because she's advanced class. And she's getting up there. This is going to require another special thing. It's about time to try unlock some eyeglasses. Or eyewear. This will allow me to enhance my gun people a little bit better. Again, always save. Even if they say strongly known all that, there's still the chance they may do it. No. See? <laughs> and sometimes you just get lucky, too. So with that done, I don't have to worry about passing that one ever again. We should now see some eyewear. There we go. And I need to use these things for the scout and the thief in order to enhance them. It's based on their hit. The higher their hit, the more damage they'll do.
And of course, always make sure to save after you get something passed. Ooh. Oh, hello, Thorn. Thanks for watching again. Oh, boy. Ah, yes, this one. This is the low-level scrub <laughs> map here. If Laharl's high enough in level, he unlocks one of his special AoE abilities. Which unfortunately, I haven't been focusing on him too much. resist wind. Huh, why didn't you do that much damage to that one? Oh, he definitely needs some more gear. His intelligence is very low. And she should just be able to tank most of this. Check with the bonus is for us. Yeah, I definitely need to get him. Look at that, 302 versus his 100. Even if they're not weak in place, I should still do some decent damage.
soften these guys up, though. And I think I'm going to take him and just leave him over here. Hey! So yes, there's a ton of these guys. Now one thing I can do is try and combine them. counter. That's not gonna do it. some more leveling. Probably buy him some better gear, too. Hey! an AOE paradise here.
to. Probably won't be to kill. Oh. And I got an achievement too for that. Okay, how are you doing? 665. Oh, he needs a new staff. Because that's way too low intelligence. some powering up. I just want to check one thing out. I don't think I can, though. Yeah. So it is definitely time to give her a mace massive power boost. She will transmigrate up two classes in her track here. As you can see, it's going to raise up her aptitude over there. Along with her base stats. Definitely more intelligence. I wanted this special too. She still has her skills. So she is technically back at level 1. Well, of course, she is level 1 with stats almost on par in terms of attack with a with a level 19. And when she levels up even more, things are gonna get really crazy. And next one will be Dora. And fighting these guys, I just need to kill one of them with her. And she'll gain probably five or six levels. Now what? So after all that, this will be just one really tough fight. But it's one tough fight compared if we didn't do all this power leveling. It's still going to be a little tricky though, she is several levels above most of our party. This is technically a boss fight, if you think about it. Was she weak to ice? Perfect. Time for a good old uh, mass attack here. Good chance she will get swatted though. Right, here we go. 
I don't want her to let them out. This will not kill her, by the way. Here I come. chance of her landing a killing blow or even any blow is very low at this point. Alright, she's learned win too. Should be the killing round though. I think I want Dora to try and land the killing blow if we can. Dora or Jane. There is a ninja class in the game, but I forget what's the prerequisite for that. Probably look up in the guide that I have around here. I think we get enough for a second transmigration in this play. There's no way we could lose this one. She's gonna need 650, I think, for her, so now it's gonna be a while. I'd like to get through the whole episode in one sitting here, and then for the stream, we can probably do a little bit more item world craziness. We can at least try and complete this whole episode. Oops, I forget to save. There we go. Oh, yes, the prunes are challenging us to a baseball game. Because that's what they do. Unfortunately, we're not in the mood to play baseball. 
I just want to see what her damage output is right now. Out of my way. Yeah. Ooh, not bad. For a level 1 character, that's not bad. So you're about to see why Primmies aren't exactly the best fighters. more heft. Aww. They try so hard, but they fail. <laughs> it's not even enough to kill her. It's close. need her to get one killing blow, and you'll see the level up she'll get. Oh, come on. Yes, I could end this whole thing just by throwing him. those guys are doing over there. <laughs> the amount of damage they do when they blow up is dependent upon their level. to get the angle around that, but it does some really good damage. He is weak against fire. Just out of range. There's one more in this episode. Why this guy isn't doing anything, I, I don't know. But I'm afraid he's it's time for him to die. in this game. Should get in there. And again, I definitely want to get some more uh, managers. They will allow me to get mine even quicker, which means being able to do the transmigrations earlier. Alright, so this should be the final one, I think. It's either this or the one after. Oh, yes. 
It's the age-old uh, JRPG trope of putting you in a fight with enemies that you can't possibly hope to win. Yeah, so this is one we are basically destined to lose. But, on New Game Plus, I think there's a chance that we can actually win. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing I can really do here. If by some miracle we kill one of them, we get massive amounts of experience. But again, that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. All I can do is just sent out 10 people to get killed right now. Let's at least be a chance I can get some spell experience. It's not gonna be a lot, obviously, but... Every little drop helps, right? I was saying, they, well, they hurt each other. Nope, that's it, folks. Game over. We lost. I guess we have to wrap up the whole Let's Break series now, right? So, here's where things get a little bit interesting. First, look at their levels. All in the 300 range. But, what we can do here, is while they're busy fighting, I can try to sneak in and get a kill. Remember, these guys are about... They're good 30, 40... No, I'm sorry. 50 levels above most of my people. If they can kill one, it's going to get a lot of experience. But, there's the obvious problem. The second they get attacked, their my guys are dead. So I need to let them try and whittle them down. And even then, it's not going to be easy.
sadly, I don't get experience for any of this. Damn. Yeah, they're not gonna do a damn thing for them. Don't target her. What did she do? Again, the chance of landing the killing blow is very low. Maybe on that guy. He only has 255. There is a chance I may be able to get a kill. It doesn't matter who gets the kill, as long as one of my guys gets it, I'll be happy. Because the experience will be massive. That's not gonna be enough for a kill. But I think we will get a kill on him. Oh, so close. Do it. So she just went up 14 <laughs> levels from that. that. Ain't bad. Okay, there's another one who could possibly get a kill. Because they will most likely finish off these remaining ones this turn. thing we can do here is put some of our low bees out and see if we get a, we'll get at least the level experience. Yeah, there, there's just no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get him down with another 400 health. Especially when you hit for zero. Go team. So she, our blue mage, really leveled up there. That may even give her enough for a transmigration, too. Yeah, she could probably transmigrate now. And she's unlocked Giga Ice. Beefier than most of our other people. Alright, this should be the final level in the episode. What do we have? Oh, yes, the Prism Rangers. Because if there's anything an anime game needs, we need a uh, <laughs> Super Sentai uh, parry. So the challenge here is 
essentially our characters are going to warp around. So trying to place them in a, any kind of reasonable place or order, it's not going to happen. So instead, I'm just going to put our highest people out. She's still pretty powerful. And I'll leave one person out as a backup. What's our bonus here? They're gonna try and rush us, but it's not really gonna matter because that happens. <laughs> it's gonna make killing him a colossal pain in the ass, though. So is this the ultimate spell? I don't remember. Or the ultimate ice spell. Let me see. I think there's one more class, and there's Omni Ice. There's one that you actually like summon a person who does the damage. Should actually be a killing blow. This will probably kill too. Oh, perfect. That needs to go. Again, yeah, doesn't make sense to really move them. I'm just gonna try to get them out. We can break this, or yeah, just break it, and that will remove the warp. But we might as well let it go another turn. Kill him. Thieves are kind of hard to keep alive because they're lower than normal stats. Will this be enough for a kill? Let's see. I don't think so. Out of my way. Yeah. Is that by one again? Oh, four. I'd be next to her right now. He's asleep. And I 
and that's all I can really do for right now. They're not hurting a level 33. It's time to start hitting this, though. Time to start hurting Prism Red over here. about warp anymore. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't uh, ran out of mana yet. She's definitely getting ready to be transmigrated. She's at 402. I think she needs 40 or 50 more mana. And then we can actually do it. But this will be the final part for this episode. Is this the super difficult, annoying one? No, it's not. The mid boss is back. There he is. Where are they all weak to? Different amounts. Okay, so that corner definitely belongs to her.
She has enough for Lion's War. Oh, we gotta show that one off, right? That gets leveled up, it's gonna do some ridiculous damage. Thank <laughs> you. 
safe, so I will take her out. Out of my way! Take us close. Oh, wait. Ooh, so close. If he counter hits her. Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, so freaking close. Well, this is perfect. I give her some nice mana. So we finished this episode. Is that so? Oh, this Come on. Is no you are correct. So, hmm. Think about it. Think about. We can just ignore it. Oh, what if the Seraph hears of this? I might be dis. Who cares? What? No, oh, Master. <laughs> All right. So with this episode oh, done. He's still um, screaming there. With that one done, I think there's only three or four episodes left in the main story. Uh, first, here's our little 
end of episode uh, right? But when evil creeps up on people, Blonde, the messenger of love, comes to the rescue. As long as evil exists, Blonde's battle will never end. Run, Blonde! Don't lose heart, Blonde! Let the people's cheers bring you courage! Transform! Guardian Blonde! Next on Guardian Blonde, Warrior of Love, Episode 7, Drop Dead Etna. <laughs> Always keep love in your heart. There's a very effective use of a comma there. <laughs> I always wanted to try this. Blonde, what you doing? Oh, hi, Ep Okay. For those of you watching this recorded, we'll wrap things up after he's done laughing. Jeez. How can I... I'm now the Overlord. That means... Ever since you've become the over, you <laughs> nothing don't but understand laugh. a thing. Besides, there isn't any. Oh, pretty. Call me your highness. Aw, oh, come on. Minor. So, what kind? You want me to make it rain pepper on Earth, or do you want me to give human kids <laughs> an addictive video game that will deprive them? Oh, of Oh, that's pretty meta right now. Uh, come in, Aramid. Who's this kid? Don't call me a kid. You're what? Who the? Now, now, shut up, Blackjack. What did you? <gasps> In times like this, hey, does she have a few? Huh? You got just like you? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Huh? And and you're just. Why would I? The ridiculous. Bring me something more. Fi I refuse. It may seem ridiculous. This is a perfect one. And if you don't do... What, what, what are you getting so... Answer me. Ugh. Good. And you better not... Ugh. Why am I... Alright. So as I said, Episode we're going to wrap things up for the recording. For those of you watching this on YouTube now. But there will probably be still some work grinding either on stream or off as I want at least get a few more people transmigrated. Let me see if I can actually do that now. Actually, and I may actually be good, yeah. Sure he has one. Yeah, that's gonna help out quite nicely. I can give that to Natalie here. No, it's not, no, it's not, do it. We want to level that up. A lot of items that we can use for some uh, statistician and magic grinding. There's one that I want to actually go into. If I can kill enough, if I do the two more exams, it may be enough to get her to transmigrate. And again, at this point in the game, these exams are going to be too long. Also, I don't know if I pointed this out yet, but the more you use your skills, the level up 
for spellcasters, it will increase their range as well as uh, how you can shoot it. For melee and basically any kind of attacking class, it will increase the damage that it does. I think this may be enough to get her to transmigrate, and then she will really be souped up. Because she's a basic class, it's not going to require as much mana compared to basically the unlockable ones. into the stream, so I think I'll wrap it here. Let's see. Should be able to transmigrate, and I think our archer is probably well enough as well. Thanks to getting those super kills. Now, with my mage, the dream combination will be to transmigrate her into each of the elemental classes and basically unlock their Omni spells, thereby basically having one mage who can do everything, in a sense. But I also want to unlock a Star Mage. That is the final class of mage. You may not be able to hear me while that noise is going off. But Star Magic is basically considered uh, the everyman spell. It doesn't hit a weakness, it just does damage, basically the equal damage to everyone. Okay, one more. And that should do it. She should definitely be able to transmigrate right now. If you want any characters named after yourselves, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so transmigrate. Yes. Enough. And again, she can do it because it's cheaper to transmigrate into one of these basically tier one classes. 
So we could transmigrate into a samurai. I mean, it's technically better. But as you can see, they go up in res, they'll go up in special. So, just to keep things, I guess, vary, I'm just gonna let her go up this way. But really, again, it's up to you. You can do whatever you want in this game. Okay. So. There we go. So again, while she may be considered level 1, by preserving 60% of her stats, she's still going to be way ahead of the curve. And when we do it again, she'll become even stronger, etc, etc. Alright, well again, that's going to do it for this play. I'll do some off-stream and off-recording um, playing, just in terms of grinding again. Doing mainly the item worlds. It is important, but it's one of those things again that you've seen it once, you've seen it a thousand times. So, next time we will begin episode... I completely lost track of episode we're on, episode 7. And... I believe there are 10 episodes in the main game. And like I said, the length of this Let's Break will be dependent upon views. So, be sure to share with your friends, let them know to watch, if you want to see me really go the distance. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and see you all again real soon. Thanks for watching the video everybody. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, of course, share with your friends, it always helps out. Check out game-wisdom.com where I examine the art and science of games. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter under GWBicer for the latest updates of new content. And be sure to check out our Patreon campaign, you can find us on Patreon under Game Wisdom. If you would like to donate and help contribute to keeping Game Wisdom going. Your donations can not only give us the monthly funding we need to keep supporting ourselves, but if we can hit some goals, it will mean more great content for you. And there are some nifty little rewards there as well. Thanks again for watching this video, and be sure to tune into the next one real soon.